Welcome back students to chapter 7 human settlements part 4 which is the last part of this chapter. In a previous video we have already studied the concept of urbanization, settlements, urban and rural areas, factors affecting urbanization. So in this video we'll quickly study urbanization in Brazil. On page number 48 and 49 children, they have asked us to draw a line graph showing the percentage of urban population of Brazil from the year 1960 to 2010. Now, this is the table that they have given us. Okay, so on the x-axis, we'll take number of years. Two, seven, two centimeters is equal to 10 years. So 1960, 1970, 1980. So we have 2 centimeters is equal to 10 years. Now, on the y-axis, we will take percentage of urban population. So here, 1 centimeter is equal to 10%. The title of this graph would be Brazil percentage of urban population from 1960 to 2010. So this would be the basic thing that we need to do when we draw a graph. Okay, all these are the basic things. Now, let's start drawing the line graph. So, in 1960, the percentage of urban population was 47.1. Then, it grew up to 56.8 in 1970. In 1980, it went up to 66%. In 1990, it was 74.6. In 2000, it was 81. Five, and in the year 2010, the percentage of urban population grew up to 84.6. Now let's answer the questions that they have given us. What is the interval of the data? Now, the interval of the data. So all we have to do is minus 1970 from 1960, we get 10 years. So the interval of data is 10 years. The next question, in which period urbanization occurred rapidly? Now, urbanization occurred rapidly between the decade 1960 to 1970. So how do we calculate this? Simple, okay. All we have to do is minus 56.8, okay, from 66. Then we minus 47.1 from 56.8. Then we minus 66 from 74.6 and so on. So when we minus 47.1 from 56.8, we get 9.7. And we get 9.2. We get 8.6. We get 6.9. And we get 3.1 in the same way. So the maximum urbanization that occurred, if we compare this data, okay, the maximum maximum urbanization occurred between the year 1960 to 1970, which is 9.7. So, uh, between the year 1960 and 1970, maximum urbanization occurred or urbanization occurred very rapidly. Now, the next question they have asked is, Write five sentences analyzing the graph. So let's start with what is urbanization and the factors affecting urbanization. So urbanization refers to the movement of people and human settlements from rural areas to urban areas. We've already studied this. Employment opportunities, higher standard of living, better facilities and infrastructure force people to migrate from rural areas to urban areas okay so this is what we need to write okay or we can write in the beginning in the graph the percent the percentage of urbanization in brazil is shown from 1960 to 2010 so from 1960 to 2010 in Brazil, rapid urbanization occurred between 1960 to 1970. It was around 9.7% and reached 56.8 in 1970. So we've already seen this. In 1960, it was 47.1. 1970, 
and in 1970 it was 56.8 so the difference we calculate calculated was 9.7 okay so this is the rapid urbanization that took place between the year 1960 to 1970 the graph is moving in the upward direction so if we see this graph it's moving in the upward direction which indicates positive and rapid growth in urbanization so this is a positive growth and it's growing rapidly after 1970 we see decrease a slight decrease in the growth of urbanization so if we see here after 1970 okay we see a slight decrease in urbanization then we see that the growth of urbanization is decreasing gradually okay it decreased rapidly in the decade of 2000 to 2010 so if you see here from 2000 to 2010 the percentage it grew only by 3.1% so it decreased to a very large extent but in general okay if we see there is a rapid increase in urbanization of brazil so if we compare the urbanization of india and brazil the urbanization of brazil is very rapid however the urbanization in india is also increasing but at a very steady pace now let's move on to the geographical explanation of urbanization in brazil now brazil is one of the few developing countries which is highly urbanized okay we've already seen or we know that urbanization of a country can be measured in terms of percentage of urban population of the country to its total population so today 86% of brazil's population lives in the cities urbanization is one of the important factors which contributes to economic growth now the availability of water electric supply roads etc all these leads to the development of industries and due to this there are the employment opportunities increase okay naturally people from the rural areas migrate to the urban areas we've seen all this okay so naturally if the population is increasing in a particular area other facilities like roads railways banks hospitals etc also increase so all this leads to the economic growth of that place almost 86% of brazil's population lives in urban areas okay hence we can say that the definition of urban is not very clear in brazil because if you refer to this pie chart we see here 86.6% of the population lives in urban areas and only 13.4% today lives in the rural areas so the percentage of urban population is more than the rural population if you go to see in the other countries the rural population is more than the urban population that's the reason we can say that the de definition of urban is not very clear in brazil now rapid urbanization happened to the south okay now if you see to the south and southeast so this is the south and this is the southeast so there is rapid urbanization in th these two regions the reasons are we already know due to availability of water fertile soil these regions are rich in minerals there are uh, excellent transport facilities the climate is good so due to all these favorable factors concentration of population is more in these in these regions okay so sao paulo has emerged as a major metropolitan and industrial area so again due to favorable conditions sao paulo has emerged as a major metropolitan and industrial area sao paulo is also okay there's lot of uh, production of coffee in this particular region due to fertile soil favorable climate 
and availability of water now due to all these factors okay the government is promoting go west policy which will reduce the pressure on few areas where population is concentrated and will reduce the regional imbalance in the country so the government is promoting go west policy okay so that the regional imbalance okay the population is more in these regions in the coastal parts of brazil so the government wants to shift this population to the population in the west okay most of the people are not settled in the west because here the climate is unfavorable okay the land is uh, you could say there are a lot of forests here due to equatorial forests swampy lands and unhealthy climate people have moved to the eastern coast rather than settling in the western coast okay but the government is promoting the go west policy now let's move on to the corporate map that they have given on page number 50 okay we'll observe the map and answer the following questions that they have given us okay so children before we move ahead with the answers okay the things that you need to keep in mind while drawing a map during exam is first the title of the map needs to be written then you have to mention the index properly and neatly clearly and you should also mention the direction of the map so these are the few things that you need to keep in mind while drawing a map during your exam which will fetch you full marks okay so let's move on to the questions the first question which states or region are the most urbanized now if you go to see the one which is colored in dark okay so these are the states which are highly urbanized so it is gias sao paulo rio do janeiro and espirito santo so these are the places okay mostly to the south east of brazil which are highly urbanized the next question which states or region are the least urbanized now the least urbanized states if we refer are shown in very light whitish pink okay so it the, if we talk about the region they are located in the northern part of brazil and if we talk about the states uh, the states include para maranhão and piauí so the states which are least urbanized are states like para maranhão maranhão and piauí in the northeast the next question population is less in the amazon basin northeastern part and towards the west of brazil hence urbanization in these regions is less so we already know that in these regions that is the amazon basin the northeastern part because of its climate and dry uh, because of its climate okay it's very hot here that's the reason population is less in this particular region and in the western part of brazil because of the equatorial forest and the swampy lands the population is less in this region now manaus is a port formed with formed at the junction of river negro and amazon where river negro and amazon meet so this is manaus okay this is manaus which is formed at the point where the river negro yes so this is the river negro so i'll just draw here this is the river negro okay and this is the river negro from here it flows so at this point and this is the amazon river okay this is the amazon river here amazonas okay so this is where this river flows and at this point if you go to see where the rivers when the, where these two rivers meet we have the port manaus and this region is highly urbanized so manaus is a port formed where the river negro and amazon meet it is the only urbanized city in the amazon basin 
okay and it lies to the north of brazil so towards the end of this chapter they have given us two satellite images okay we need to observe these figures and answer the questions that they have given now when we answer when we look at these pictures okay we see that these two pictures are almost the same they both are in the mountainous region the first one there are in the first one uh, we see more of green that means uh, the area is covered more with forest and in the second i guess deforestation has taken place so we see less trees okay and more of brown so let's answer the questions describe the settle, uh, settlement uh, settlements with respect to physiography okay so here both the sa satellite images as i said show different images of the same area in different periods so humans so if we see the location human settlements here is seen in a mountainous region along the slopes of the mountains so this is the slope of the mountain so we see human settlements in these two places along the slope of the mountainous mountains picture a shows that there the area was once covered with forest in picture b we see deforestation has taken place compared to picture a more number of settlements are seen in picture b okay now let's see the next question considering the physiography where could these settlements be located now they have we've already answered this question so let's answer the question describe the settlements with respect to physiography so they are asking us the pattern okay what is the pattern of settlement in this particular area or in these in this particular region so uh in both the pictures scattered type of settlement is seen okay if you see this this is a mountainous region so in both the pictures we see scattered type of settlements okay we already know in scattered settlements houses are far away from each other such type of settlements are mostly found in mountainous forested deserts plateaus or swampy areas now the next question the next question now they asked us to tell the limitations of the settlement with respect to their future growth <coughs> excuse me now the limitations are due to because these settlements are in the mountainous region naturally the transportation would be poor here due to the topography of that place then it will be difficult to tackle in emergency situations difficult to tackle emergency situations because it would be very difficult to get relief rescue and aid in case of any calamities or accidents then a threat to security since people will live far away from each other there would be security issues then natural cal calamities like landslides would be a threat to human settlement With this children we have come to an end of chapter 7 human settlements hope you have understood you can find the link to my previous videos in the description box given below okay thank you stay home stay safe goodbye